poppin' everybody? This is Tiffany, aka Miss Beautiful. And today, as you can see by the title, will be a review on the Morphe 39S palette. Such a gym palette. Mm -hmm. So this is a new palette from Morphe. I'm not sure when it launched, but here is what the palette looks like, you guys. Of course, I've already used it because I did my makeup first. So here are the colors. This is such a beautiful palette, you guys. This palette does retail for $35 for 39 wonderful shades. I definitely think that is a great deal. So the packaging is just a cardboard. I got some powder on it, sorry. So it's just like a cardboard, a black, just sleek, very smooth palette. It says Morphe, um, just very standard. Um, on the inside again, it says hashtag Morphe Babe. It doesn't, of course, come with a mirror, as you can see. And 39 shades, it does have these, um, what they are calling the silk toppers as the bigger shades. So you can use these, of course, to go on top of shadows or use them as a highlighter for your face. I assume that's why they made them bigger. So it does come with one of these little name sheets. Like if, I just feel like if you're not gonna put the names inside the palette under the shadows, there's really no need to put a paper with shade names on them because it's just like, but it doesn't bother me either way. Let me know if you guys like these little flaps with the names on them. Do you find them helpful? Could you do without them? Like, what's your opinion on them? Um, so I want to read about their new silk slip toppers. So it says sassy pinks, stunning purples, rich vibrant hues, and a touch of glitter, of course. This multifaceted mix is your new bejeweled bestie. Use the matte sheen and shimmer finishes to lux up your face and eye looks. And then smooth on our brand new silk slip toppers for a flashy highlight or next level eye look. Each one of these seven plush formulas has been sized up for an effect that really is extra. You'll love how these velvety <coughs> you'll love how these velvety babes glide on like a gel and set like a powder. Okay, and you'll be looking gorge, you know, like you do. <laughs> I guess. So they have um, a lot of different formulas and finishes in this palette. Um, so of course they have matte, sheer shimmer, sheen, shimmer, glitter, and the new silk slip toppers. Wow, that's a tongue twister. So that is really, really good as well. So we're going to get into some swatches, you guys. So let's get to it. So yes, this is the first row swatched. That is the second row. Hopefully you guys can see these colors pretty good. So those are the silk toppers. They are really, really pretty. So that is the third row. And that is the last and final row, you guys. Whew. Swatches is, ain't no joke. All right, guys, and those are the swatches. Now we're going to get into this makeup look. Well, the makeup look is usually like my first impressions because when I do do these type of reviews, I am doing my eyeshadow first and then coming to you guys to review the palette. So during my makeup look, I will give you guys just everything. My pretty much first impressions is all in my makeup look. So be sure. You stay tuned for the makeup look. Okay? Girl. <laughs> We're going to start off with the Make It Rain, as in R E I G N. Quite a bit of fallout. And I will show you guys in a minute here. We're just going in with that purple. And it is quite pigmented. It could be a little more pigmented, but. That's the fallout or kickback. I'll say kickback. 
Because this is how I use my brush. I do it like I dab it into the product and then put it on my... Because I'm stamping it. That's what I like to do with my transition area. Is stamp on the color and then blend it. So that's why I'm going to my palette like that. And you get the most payoff, I feel like. So this is pretty good payoff. And then I just blend the edges so I won't lose all the color. With great minds. This color. And I'm just stamping that. Oh, that's a pretty color. Wow, this is really pretty. It's definitely making me thirsty. <laughs> making me want some soda, some grape soda. So funny. Then we're gonna go in with Bougie, Bougie. This pink here. Oh, this is just like the best combination ever. I'm not loving, like, why am I in love with this? Like, I don't use purple and pink shades for like every makeup look I do. Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. But this, this is really good already. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go back in with the Make It Rain. And, you know, just deepen up this crease. Yes, I'm going to come crease. I'm going to come again with the Make It Rain on the outer V. So I'm gonna try this, I think it's just a regular shimmer color. This is annoying. I'm doing it backwards. So we're going with the Amethyst All. This like purple shimmer shade. And I'm about to put that right on the outer corner. Put that right here. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Oh my god. You guys. My neighbors. So now, I'm gonna go in with Pink Prize. And I'm gonna use that because we're gonna go in with, um, I wanna say this one and make, wait, this one and this one, maybe. But these are considered, they're like silk toppers. I think they recommend you use it on top of a shadow. This pink is so pink too. Like to be a light pink. I love it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna see which one is darker. So we have, oh yes, and here for it. <laughs> so I'm about to swipe, oh yes. I like the same color, and this is here for it. Oh, one has like a pinky undertone and the other one's like a more blue, blue, purple. Okay. So, <laughs> hmm, let me try this, what's this one? Total, total goals. Oh my God, my phone. I'm gonna try, this is total goals. That's pretty. It's kind of like a blue purple. 
moment too. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do, oh yeah, the more pinky one. So let's see how it goes. And it is putty. Can y'all see that? It's putty, 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 putty. So that's cool. Oh, this is like, uh, it's kinda, like barely showing up. Okay, I'll do my finger. It's very light. I'm not a huge fan of that one. The paper fell somewhere. Oh, let me try this, like right here. This is really cute. That blue. You see that? That's really cute. I'm just putting that on the line where I put the matte uh, pink on top of the shimmer purple. Just so we can kind of transition a little better. I like that. That is a really pretty. <laughs> okay, then I think we're going to go in with, um, so I'm going to go in with here for it. Right here. And this is putty as well. And I'm just going with my finger first. And put it right on top of this. This is everything you <sighs> what why am I getting teary eyed? Wow. This is so good. Okay, so now I have to go in with the brush. I think I'm gonna just go over my finger one more time. This stuff is really putty too. This one's like puttier than the other one. Again, we're here for it, and I'll show you guys this putty as well. This one's like a lot more puttier than the other one. So maybe how putty it is depends on like the pale. Here is the look. I'm just cleaning up the crease, cleaning up this glitter. And yeah. <laughs> so guys, I'm about to do the other eye, pop on some lashes, do my full face, and BRB. Alright guys, we are back. I have my eyes done, lashes, full face. I'm excited. How about you? Y'all? Okay, good. Uh. Ooh, okay. So I'm about to do the lower lash line. Also, the toppers can be used as highlighters. So I definitely want to try. We are just going to go in with Make It Rain, I think, on a flat type of brush. <laughs> Never know what my brushes are called. Anyways, these lashes are from my brand. They are called 27. I recently turned 27. So I did a limited edition lash. Um, so this is now available on my website. I have just a few left. But once they're sold out, I think that's going to be it, you know? So, so again, I'm just stamping and make it rain on the lower lash line. see this time yay that is so pretty ah! <laughs> I'm gonna blend that out with grape mines just lightly nothing too heavy 
So I'm going to try one of these as a highlighter. So I'm going to use Catch the Light here. I just like the champagne. So I'm going to just tap into that. Oh, it's really chunky, I think. Oh, it's really chunky. I don't know if I like that. Do we like, it's very subtle. I mean, of course you could probably intensify it. I like a blinding nose highlight, so. It's just a little chunky for my liking. Okay. So I'm not the biggest fan of that as a highlighter, but I'm pretty sure as a topper for your eyeshadow would just look amazing. So I mean, it gives you that nice kind of, it gives you a nice glow, but it's just really chunky. And I have a lot of texture, you know, right up in here on my cheeks and stuff. So it's really accentuating that. Um, but other than that though, all right, she's cute. So moving right along to the lips. The glitter gloss that I've been sampling. So, and it's, it's like, it fits right in because it looks just like um, the pink with the blues and the purples. Kind of pretty nice, yeah. Oh, I just will buy some more. Oh, this is everything, you guys. Is this too much? I don't think so. You can have it up too much. I am proud of myself today. Alright guys, so I'm gonna pull on, you know, a little hair and probably change my top because um, it's kind of weird looking. But I like little oranges. Y'all like the oranges? I like the oranges. And I'll be back with my final thoughts. Alright guys, so final thoughts on the Morphe 39S. Such a gem, is that what it's called? Yeah. Such a gem palette. I would definitely recommend this palette now. Um, I think there's a, a lot of different like variations, a lot of different looks that you can create with this palette. Again, it has um, your berries here, it has your neutrals every day. Um, has your pinks and purples and silvers and all that stuff. So I definitely think you can create a lot of beautiful looks with this palette. I do think that um, we all have a variation of these shades in different palettes. Um, so it is good that all of these are kind of in one palette for you to grab and use. Like I said, you just have to pull out your other palettes and find these shades. Um, but, I mean, I do feel like we have majority of these shades in our collection already. That's just my honest opinion. If you're, like, spirit of the moment shopper like me, honestly, I got the email. I was like, this is gorgeous. I gotta get it. And I got it. Like, you know, if you're just one of those type of shoppers... <coughs> I would definitely say pick this up um, if you're wanting to create a lot of different purple pinky berry neutral looks pick up this palette if you're wanting to try their new putty toppers I would say pick up this palette yeah if you're into I would say like cool tones as well it's um, a lot of different cool tones in this palette as well pick up this palette I would just say pick up the palette like honestly like what it was like i would just say pick up the palette like i mean 
what you gotta lose like what else just pick it up now do you absolutely need this palette i would say absolutely not but i do think it's one that you would definitely want if you're not a pinky purple type of girl then you might want to pass on it but the pigmentation the way they blend just the the variety the the very variety of shades i hate saying that word um the shades and textures just it's just really good like good job morphe good job so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time see ya